Hey, what's going on people? So the return statement, the return statement returns a value back to a calling function. Here's an example. I have a function named square. Square is going to accept one argument, a double. It's going to square that double and return the result back to the calling function. So here's an example. Let's say we have double x and I'm going to call the square function and then pass in some value. Uh, let's say 3.14. So when we call a function, we can also return a value back to the spot in which we call the function. So within our square function, let's set double result equal to x times x, effectively squaring it. So to return a value back to the calling function, we will use this return keyword, followed by some value or variable. I would like to return result. However, we need to list the data type of what we're returning within the function declaration. Right now it's void, so if we're returning a double, we will list double here. If this was an integer, we would return int. If it was a character, we would return char. You kind of get the idea. So result is a double, so we need to change this from void to double. And we will return this result back to the calling function. So we're effectively stating that double x equals 3.14 squared. And then let's print the result. So printf, the format specifier for a double is lf, and we will print x. And 3.14 squared is 9.859. Now you could shorten this too. We could just say return x times x instead of declaring a local variable. Return x times x. And that would work the same. So yeah, that's basically the return statement. You can place it within a function and return a value or variable back to the calling function and the spot in which you invoked that function. But if you're going to return a value or variable within the function declaration, you need to change void to the data type of what you're returning. So yeah, that is the return statement. And you may have noticed within our main function, we're returning zero. Zero is the exit status if this program runs successfully. So instead of void with our main function declaration, we have int because zero is technically an integer. So yeah, that's the return statement. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's the return statement in C.